Welcome to the BetQL Daily Boost. I'm Lucy Burge of BetQL.com, and I am joined by Kate Constable and Rick Chapsky. We've got an MLB odds boost for all of you to start off this week on Salvador Perez and MJ Melendez to each have over one and a half total bases. This is boosted to plus 400 at Caesars. These are two players I wouldn't think to, to pick for over total bases unless I saw this boost and I was like, wait, this opened my eyes to the fact that Salvador Perez in the Royals last game hit a home run. MJ Melendez had two hits. So this is a great odds boost for both of them to go over on total bases today. Oh yeah, I didn't realize um, Salvador's hit was a home run. So that's uh, easy right there. And outside of that, I mean, he really has not hit well lately. So like, this is probably a terrible handicap, but at some point the guys do to have string together a couple games where he gets some hits and um, MJ Melendez, I mean, he, he had a double in his last game. So there you hit that right there. And he's had hits in uh, three of his last four. So I'm not as concerned about him. It's uh, Salvador that might concern me a little bit, but I saw Rick's little smirk when I said he's due. Rick knows what the deal is. Uh, Salvi, what a career he's had. You know, he's hanging on with this team and they're in last place, but he's the consummate for professional, especially with the catcher. You know, you got to have your catchers be the leaders of this team. 12 years in Major League Baseball, he actually leads the team in home runs. A lot of Salvi's hits have been home runs, so that's where the total bases uh, comes into play right there. But MJ Melendez, that's the one we want to talk about here. Since the All-Star break, nine hits in 10 games. And why? Because he changed his batting stance. Um, he went down to Miami during the All-Star break. One of those baseball resets at the All-Star break where he said he got to hit the batting cages and just practice and work on his game. And he's got his hands out a little bit further from his body. And man, he's smoking the ball. So he, this is one of those, like you said, Lucy, you look at it and you're like, oh my gosh, MJ Melendez is hitting the ball hard here. And uh, what an interesting boost, but man, do the Royals stink. Yeah. They're, they're a half game up on Oakland for worst record in all of baseball. Yeah, that's Brutal. not good. Yeah, that's the thing. If you're gonna, if you want to bet on the Royals, this would be what I, I would bet on today. Problem. If you really want to do this, because this is great value. Good old Sal to hit the over on a oh, one and a half total bases here, along with MJ Melendez. So get in on that at plus four hundred at Caesars, and get up to a thousand dollars in bonus bets on your first wager at BetMGM by entering code Lucy one thousand when you sign up for a new BetMGM account now, and head to BetQL.com get your free three day trial today check out our exclusive sports book offers there as well and of course follow us on twitter at rick cz1 at kate constable and at lucille bird we have our favorite bets for today as well i am going with a home run prop and i'm going with freddie freeman to hit a home run against the blue jays so freddie freeman has hit three home runs in his past three games he had two two games ago in one game to bring him to 20 total home runs this season to make him the first Dodgers player in history to reach 20 home runs and 35 doubles before August. He will be facing Jose Barrios and the Blue Jays tonight. And in three at-bats in his career against Barrios, Freeman has one hit that hit was a home run. So I think he can do that once again. He's done it before. I like him to do it again here tonight. Love it, Lucy. Uh, I'm mixing things up a little. I told you guys I was going with the Reds first five or the Brewers rather uh, first five under because Andrew Abbott's on the mound for the Reds tonight and I love backing him he's been great this season but the games in which he's struggled this year have come against the Brewers who he's obviously pitching against tonight so I am actually going to take the Brewers uh, team total over tonight to believe that's at four and a half um, I'm taking that because They've seen him, they've seen Abbott now three different times. So batters are kind of getting familiar with what Abbott is throwing. He just gave up eight combined runs to the Brewers in his last two starts against them. It's the worst starts he's had all season. Uh, and th I mean, those were just recent. Those were two of his last three starts. So as of late, he has not pitched well against the Brewers. The Brewers have kind of figured him out a little bit. Uh, and he's not great on the road. I mean, I say not great. It's on, he, the ZRA is still under three, but worse than he is at home. So I'm going to take the Brewers to go over their team total this afternoon against the Reds. I will not be changing my pick. I am <laughs> going to stick with the Washington Nationals minus 140 
And people are saying, Rick Chavsky, you are backing Patrick Corbin. Yes, yes I am. If that's just crazy enough, but he hasn't been that Patrick Corbin that we saw last year where everyone was throwing a party fake this guy. Uh, he has won six games this season, and the Colorado Rockies, this is just a fade on them right now, going with an opener in Jake Bird, and I never like seeing the opener on a bad team. You like seeing it when it's like the Rays, but not when it's a bad team like the Rockies. Uh, leaving Miami in an extra inning game, now getting on a plane and having to go to to Washington, D.C. to play the Nationals, who just swept the San Francisco Giants at home and are playing well. So give me the Washington Nationals and backing Patrick Corbin at minus one. Love that. That's a great spot for them. These are a great crop of bets once again to get in on and the odds boost plus 400 at Caesars and subscribe to the BetQL Daily Boost wherever you get your podcast.